dump the tanks. You want to catch that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll be a, the next video. We'll edit gracefully to that. Oh, or should we video the whole thing so you can see, like, what it's like going to the dump station? All right, we're leaving this um, kind of stark, but also ultimately really useful. Um, yeah, see, here she's up here. She's like, we're actually going. Um, oh, there's also one more. This is the driving caddy. It's between, it's up here um, because the dog decided that she really likes to ride up here. It used to be between our seats, which was nice. Anyway, we're kind of leaving this uh, KOA in Dodge City, which um, it's kind of weird, but it has this huge dog park, and we got the slot, the back end slot, right next to the dog park, which was really convenient. There's some other zoo. places. Yeah, there's a petting zoo over there if you like to be depressed by seeing little tiny animals uh, in little there's sheds. Some in there too. There's some longhorns, there's some little mules. Across the road there, you'll see the grain elevator, which hums constantly. It's not like super loud, but you know it's there. And now here we are at the dump station. Um, it's on the other side though, right? What is what's uh, beeping? It sure is. That's the... Why did they put the dump station on that side? Yeah, so we're now going to like, I guess, back into the dump site. I should really be out there spotting Dave. Don't no. do this at home. Um, okay. Oh, and these have this special... Um, power cleaner on these so that's going to be great it's going to be a challenge for me to video because my clogs are back by the front door Oops, sorry i'm going to do it i'm going to do it for you lisa john deanna donna nice. mark anybody else who might anybody think watching they might want to do this if you thought my video work was atrocious before. Wait till you see me try to get out the door with the garbage. Noah, you're going to stay in here. We're bringing this little guy out. Yeah, don't get excited. She kind of shakes when she thinks she's going somewhere, but she's not going anywhere. Noah, you stay in there. You're going to stay in there for a minute, dog. She can't believe it. All right, here we are at this site. There's your grain elevator. All right, so there she is, coming around. Here's the dump station. And uh, keep this garbage right there for Dave's gloves when he's done. First thing he's doing is opening the place where the, um, oh, that's nice, like some weird coyote dogs in the distance. He's pulling out the hose, which is slightly leaky, um, but that's also just water from having rinsed it the last time we uh, it. Oh, not never quite close, close enough. enough. We'll edit this part out. So uh, make sure you park close enough. Do you want me to stand behind you? Do you want me to try to do it? I hope not. I guess tip number two is have some paper towels with you in case you have to dry off your hands. You could go a little bit more if you wanted to. No, that's good. Oh, okay. Basically it needs to be just straight across. From... Oh, I was looking at the other oh, opening. yeah, you were. It'll reach. Okay. Do uh, you want to get under here to actually see what we're doing? Yeah. He said, okay. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got a valve for the gray water, uh -huh. and we've got a valve for the black water. The black okay. water is the poopy water, the gray water is the shower and the sinks. Um, and then there's this. Uh, you want that on the tight? Uh, uh, remove the cap. Room. Those attachers. 
so. Okay, and then over here. Oh, here. that's nice. There's like a little thing that's going to weigh down the, the lid. Usually you have your um, somebody else kind of stand on it. Or a rock. Yeah, a rock. Um, Should I still stand on yeah, it? Yeah, just keep your foot on it. Don't okay. stand on it. Like, you don't want to touch this, but you want to make sure that... Um, so the idea is you empty the black first, like this. Okay, so it's all sort of traveling through there. I like to give it a little help. He gives it a little help. Massage it a little. I mean, like, in one way it seems kind of gross, but then in the other way, it's just like all, it's all your stuff you need to be a living human organism. And this machine is a really efficient way to like process all your human stuff and get you to different places where there's ice cream. You can make more human stuff. A lot of the videos that you see like on the Cruise America um, site, the demonstrator is not wearing those little plastic gloves and maybe you know you know you're gonna wash your hands afterward but you want those gloves right, so now we close the black water valve, black water valve. Close uh, it in yeah and now we're gonna open the gray water which will flush out the hose and sort of clean it a little bit And I'm gonna, once I grab the garbage, I'm going to probably walk Nola over to the garbage just so she has the last little chance to pee. I always think Dave's going to lose his shit when I say something like that. So he'll be like, he had plenty of chances. I'm the one who needs a chance to pee. Well, you can do that on your own. You don't need a trip to the... Uh, times. You can... Close the gray valve. Remove the sewer hose. Replace the cap. Both valves are closed. Both valves are closed. Cap is on. Tighten that up and now I'll see if I can just rinse the hose. Oh boy. I'm going to stand back for this. Anything could happen at this point. Ew. Oh, so you're just basically, it's like a power washer thing and it's just kind of sort of running out. Oh, nice. Cleaning the outside too, just in case. There are some small leaks in this house. <laughs> you know. And Cruise America does reimburse you up to $75 for like little maintenance expenditures, but this isn't that bad and we've only got a few days left of our trip and... Um, it's not that bad that the uh, sewer hose leaks here. Yeah. Well, it's just a tiny leak though. A few tiny leaks. And I feel like if we got a new one, that would probably start leaking too. Like that just seems like something they do. So now you can see why there's water when you pull it out. It's not, you know, it's just from often from... Yeah, and it goes into it. some sort of bin that you can see under there, and which I think has an under here. Oh. And, oh. And there's, I think there's a drain in there, but it probably gets clogged. Yeah, there is a little drain. But there's a little, yeah, it's like a little cap that's off yeah. down there. Close that up, put your gloves in the garbage. 
Um, I go get a dog and walk this over to the garbage. Um, Dave I'm cleans up. To, um, uh, initiate the toilet. Oh yeah. Do you want to, me to show oh, sure. that? Yeah. All right, we'll show that too. Why what the not? heck? Um, where's the dog? Oh. She's right there in my seat. I'll do that again after I run her out too. Okay, so the last piece of this plumbing puzzle is emptying the, or putting the um, little the pack high in. Open it up. And you take one of these holding tank deodorizer and portion control system guys. It's like a tide drop-in pack thing, sort of. And I thought they'd like smell up the whole... Um... You just take that. Um, oh, can you turn on the pump? Yes, I think it might still be on from when I was watching. Yeah, it's on. Water pump is on. Always have to make sure that's on when this when you're not when you're so not. You don't want to drop water. this in directly because then right, then it will smell up the whole place. Well, and it'll start dissolving immediately. Right, which stuff. is why it will smell. So up you just open this place. valve. You can see mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Can you step up here? And drop it in. So it's going into the actual tank. And we're adding some water, we're and we'll also some add some water. That's it. That's it. Put that back under the sink. Good to go. Right. See ya. See ya.